In this video, I'm gonna share with you the exact cold call script that we and our clients are using to book a ton of appointments in 2023. Let's dive right in. So 2023 is here and a lot of folks are wondering what is the perfect cold call script to use come 2023. It's no secret that the economy is not doing too well. Things are shifting quite rapidly in the world of tech sales, that is. So what do you do? How do you stay up with the times? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you a script that we're using in 2023 to a ton of success. So that way you can replicate it for yourself and also experience success cold calling. But before we jump into that, I want to share with you a core principle or a fundamental of cold calling that I think is really, really important. And that is understanding the world of the prospect. You see a lot of folks, SDRs, AEs, anyone cold calling, they focus on the product. What does the product do? How does the product provide the benefits that it promises? And sure, that's good information, but it is nothing compared to knowing deeply the challenges, the frustrations, the day-to-day -day of your buyers. So what I always promote to people is focus less on the product and more on the prospect. Understand their world. And if you're doing that, you're going to notice that some things may have shifted. What once were priorities may no longer be priorities because we're seeing big changes in the economy. The target market that they're going after may have had a lot of shakeup recently. So that's gonna totally change the approach that you have. So you have to understand the prospect. So here's my recommendation. Right after you watch this video, go and talk to three customers that are using your product or service and ask them what they like about the solution, what they don't like about the solution, and most importantly, how is your solution helping them in 2023? Is that different than how it was helping them before. All right, so let's jump into the cold call script. We call this the golden call script. And what it is, is a cold call script that we have tweaked and developed over years and over 3 million cold calls in order to get it to this place. And we're going to go through the script top to bottom, and I've built it in a template format so you can follow along and write a version for you. So what is the first part of the script? It's what we call the permission based opener. And it sounds like this. Hey, this is Kyle calling for Voris. How's it going? Good, that's great to hear. So the purpose of my call is we work with type of company and help them what we help with. I'm not sure if we can help each other, but I thought it was worth a quick call. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions and let you decide if we should chat? The reason why we start the cold call like this is because in our testing, we have found that by asking permission and, and leading the call, sounding unsure if this is gonna be a good fit for them, it increases the percent chance that they let you actually start a conversation with them. And because the conversation is a prerequisite to a meeting, we we put a lot of emphasis on having more and more conversations. This is a good way to do it. Sometimes people argue you shouldn't start with how are you? You shouldn't ask for permission. You should just dive right in. At the end of the day, you have to do what works for you. This in our testing has been incredibly effective and the top performer, but that isn't always the case. So make sure you test it with your own data, but this is how we do it. Now, after you go through the permission-based intro and the prospect gives you permission to tell them about how you can help, you move in to to the golden question. This is the most important part of the entire cold call script. And this is why I tell you, you need to understand your prospect because you're going to shape your golden question based on the people you're gonna be talking to. And this is what it sounds like. Thanks for the time. So typically we help type of company who are focused on improving problem they typically have or they are focused on a different problem that they typically have. I'm curious, which one of those is a focus for you? Another way to do this is like this. I speak with a lot of title and they tend to struggle with one or two things. Struggle one or struggle two. I'm curious, which one of these resonates with you most? So you have two options here for the golden question. And I want you to customize these based on the prospects that you're calling into. And if you call into multiple different types of people, you should have multiple golden questions that are going to resonate with that person. If you say the golden question and the person on the other side of the phone says, none of those are a focus for me, then 
this is not the right golden question. You need to tweak this and you need to get this in a place to where it's getting the prospect to actually engage into a conversation. Now we have the conversation itself. This part you can't really script because every conversation goes differently. So I've put together a structure here to help you navigate the conversation and increase the chance that you're going to get a meeting. And this is what it sounds like. We have the first question right after asking the golden question. They reply with which one of those is a priority for them or which one of those they're struggling with. And you're gonna ask, why does that one resonate the most with you. The reason why you're asking this is because you want to dive a little bit deeper and understand what's going on in their business that makes that a priority, makes that a focus, or makes that a challenge that they're having. That's really where you're going to find the information you need to book a meeting because you have to find a problem that they really want to solve. So the first thing you're going to want to do here is understand their current state. And if you can, which most of you should be able to do, quantify that current state. So here are some questions you can ask. What is your current process for X? How are you currently managing X? How is your team? And then whatever KPI that they would be tracking for their team. Ultimately, what you're trying to understand is how are things looking right now? And since this is an area that they're focused on improving, it's not going to be where they want it to be. And you want to quantify that number. So if you're calling doctors in private practice, you may be asking how many patients are you seeing a week? Oh, we're seeing 20 patients a week, right? If you're calling marketing directors, how many MQLs are you getting? Whatever you can do to quantify their current state is really important because the next step here is you want to identify the ideal state. And you wanna quantify this too if you can. So these are questions like, what would the ideal process look like? How would you like things to work? Where do you need the team's performance? Anything around the ideal state so that way you can understand the gap between where they are today and where they're trying to go. Ultimately, that's the most important part of this section of the cold call. Quantify, quantify, quantify. You're seeing 20 patients right now. What's capacity look like for you? Oh, you could see 100 patients a week where you're seeing 20. What are you doing to close that gap? These are the types of questions that you should be asking. Once you understand the current state and you've identified the ideal state, then you want to understand how they're trying to solve the problem because if the problem still exists, it's clearly not working. So what have you tried to improve this? What are you currently doing to solve this? How do you think you could solve this problem? These are the types of questions you wanna ask there. Once you've done this and you understand the challenge that they're facing and you're confident that you can solve that challenge, you move into the recap. The recap is where we're gonna be asking for the meeting and this is what it sounds like. Thanks for filling me in, name. From what I heard, you are trying what they are trying to get whichever topic resonated with them. Why don't we do this? Let's set up a time to have a conversation about the topic of the next step that will help you get from gap from earlier in the script. How does tomorrow at three o'clock work for you? All right, since there's a lot of things for you to input there and you're inputting those on the fly, let me give you an example. You want to say the recap based on what they've told you. So this isn't going to be a perfectly written script that you say every single time. You need to customize this based on the person that you're talking to. So here would be an example. Thanks for filling me in, James. So from what I hear, you are trying to improve the performance of your sales team to get them booking more appointments in a lot less time. Why don't we do this? Let's set up some time to have a conversation about how we can help you identify bottlenecks within your process so that way you can improve your sales team's performance. Does tomorrow at seven o'clock work for you? So that was just an example of me riffing. I think you'll get the idea here. You want to recap what they told you and then share with them a next step that's relevant to getting them from where they are to where they wanna be. And that's it, look, it's 2023. Now is a better time than any to get really focused on optimizing your cold call script so that way you can have better conversations and ultimately book a lot more meetings.